The way we interact with the world around us, we assume is the same for each person. We all have the same organs to perceive our reality. We all have the same kind of brain. But does that mean everything is the same for everyone? Obviously not. Otherwise, everyone would be the same. Why do some people prefer blue over green, or sweet over savory? It's because everyone grew up with different circumstances, they grew accustomed to different surroundings and experiences, and have learned to like or dislike certain things through their own experiences. Because of this, everyone perceives the world differently. When you think of reality, what is real, how do you determine that? By what you can interact with and sense, what you can touch, feel, taste, hear, and smell, etc. It helps you figure out what everything around you is. This can raise endless questions about what is real and how do we know if we can trust our senses, and that's something I want to elaborate on, but uh, not right now. For now, all we need to consider is that our senses are how we perceive the world around us and they are calibrated by our experiences to shape our own reality. That would imply that reality is different to everyone, which, you know, that may make sense. Different belief systems, political views, and even simple mundane preferences all have one thing in common. The person who believes the thing they believe thinks they are correct enough in their reasonings to hold their beliefs and seeing someone on the opposite end of the spectrum from them makes them believe that the other side is simply just crazy or irrational. Personally, if you are on one end of a spectrum or an extreme for something as complex as politics or religious or spiritual beliefs, or even like a lifestyle way or just anything really, even fandoms, I'll throw that one in there, it's, a, it's worth exploring why the other side thinks and feels the way they do. Not only to better understand them, but to understand exactly where you stand in your own beliefs. It can be sobering, humbling, and most of all, character building. But, you know, that's just my perception of it. This can also raise the question, which reality is the correct one? And does that even matter? I personally don't find that that question is the right one to be asking because there is no way to truly know which one is the most accurate or correct. I feel like that would just be a pointless, dis uh, pointless discussion that would devolve into chaos and arguing basically immediately and it would somehow become very extremely political like instantly. And you know it would just, it would just end with people resenting each other even more than they already do. I feel like I've, I've strayed a little bit from what I was originally talking about, but, you know, this this is less of a structured video. It's, you know, a slightly shorter one because I'm in the final stages of moving into a new place and adjusting to a new job schedule, which, frankly, is terrible. I'm working long hours and making very little money. Like, fucking 50 hours a week, man. 50 hours a week taken home maybe 600 bucks a week so i'm going to be looking for a new job very soon in the future you can expect more frequent videos as i you know, try to grow my channel and i'll be branching out into new forms of content like irl stuff and streaming on occasion if i find the time so thank you very much for watching to this point it is you who is helping me get that little bit closer to my goals of a better future for myself and hopefully helping others do the same. So, you know, there's the obligatory like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Check out my other videos, they're a lot longer and they're a lot more comprehensive than this one. And, uh, have a fantastic day.